I have created the worst team in NHL history. That is right. I have brought back the Alabama Burger Boys, who were basically known to being the worst team ever. They also went 0-82 in a regular season before here in NHL video games. But here in today's video, it's going to be slightly different as I have basically just signed a bunch of players that are free agents currently right now in the league. I will show you the roster here. Now, apart from three players on this roster, everybody basically is garbage. But instead, I have added three frames franchise pieces to the Alabama Burger Boys starting off with our captain none other than Shorzy baby 80 overall he's 20 years old he also has high franchise potential so he's not going to be an amazing player right off the bat but he has the potential to be literally a first long sniping right winger now on defense we have Ben Dover who's the most mature of the three he's going to be an 84 overall also 20 years old High franchise potential. He's going to grow into an absolute stud of a D-man. And then finally, if we take a look at our starting goalie, it is none other than Le Pekka Pasta. 80 overall. The youngest of the group. 19 years old. Franchise high potential. Also... So three franchise cornerstone pieces. Now I have to build a Stanley Cup contending roster around these three guys. And I have 10 years to win a Stanley Cup for the Alabama Burger Boys. If I fail the challenge, I fail it. Or if I get a Stanley Cup at any point within these 10 years, then I complete the challenge. This honestly might be very hard considering we don't have many assets or pieces. I'm going to have to draft very well. And the three guys that actually have trade value on our squad, I literally can't trade them. All I can trade them if I wanted to, but why would I? considering we got three franchise high potential forward defense and starting goaltender so so let's go ahead and pretty much simulate the entire first season we are not going to be very good so we are definitely going to have to be drafting very well throughout the early seasons until we start building a decent roster around Shorzy, Pekka, and Ben. Now, if you guys do enjoy NHL videos just like this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live here on YouTube. So I just found out some absolutely lovely news. I did not have the salary cap on for the previous franchise mode. So I had to go back, delete it, reset it, and turn it back on. So we're just going to simulate the season, go back to the draft again, see where we finish. Of course, for some reason, I turned off the salary cap when i meant to keep it on so yet again no surprise we were not very good 28 43 and 11 67 points so we should still be able to draft pretty high here in the nhl draft colorado dominated in the central division and in the entire nhl vegas was the best team with 51 wins and the colorado avalanche would end up going on and dominating florida in five games in the stanley cup finals well good thing is not much change we are still selecting third overall in the nhl draft and now we have some different options we still have Dem demidoff who's supposed to go second overall i believe in the actual nhl entry draft medium elite potential kulikov is there he's a winger demidoff whatever his name is i'm gonna make the pick he will be the new selection for the alabama burger boys 75 overall medium elite potential sniper now for my second pick i am going to go with another centerman here i, I believe cole budo i made the selection last time also and we are also selecting fourth in the second round so we are going to be looking at another guy here i think i'm going to go with another justin poirier none of these guys were scouted very well anyway so i will take him top six medium potential 67 overall which is not bad now the unfortunate part is most of our players do need to be re-signed here in the offseason we have 65 million in cap space so i am going to be looking for some good players to sign but some of these guys are like 82 81 overall like nick ritchie i can still keep on the team so now looking at free agency at the rfas or the ufas actually we have 27 million dollars in cap space or actually no 61 million cap space so i'm going a lot after like a lot of guys here a guy like tarasenko pavelsi d'angelo i might go after all three tarasenko's asking for like i'll give him nine million dollars for four years i'm okay with that we got tons of cap space to spend joe pavelski is an older guy so i don't want to give him a deal a guy like tony d'angelo still 28 i will give him a 7.7 .7 million dollars for four years jonathan marshall so 33 years old i'm also going to offer him a seven point one million dollar contract so we would end up picking up oliver shillington brett pesci will sign as well jake debrosque has accepted our offer tony d'angelo actually decided to go to colorado which is interesting table terravine has accepted brady shea will also be on our roster vladimir tarasenko accepted jason zucker accepted tyler bertuzzi 
Jonathan Marcheseau as well. So basically all the players I went after. All right, so now taking a look at the Alabama Burger Boys, we are going to have a very different roster. Shorzy Nail is up to an 85 overall. We also have Druen and Tavo Teravainen on the first line. Tarasenko, DeBrusque, Marcheseau on the second line. Bertuzzi, Shahan, and Zucker on the third line. So offensive depth, honestly, is not an issue for us. We're a pretty deep team. We just don't have that high-end talent. And if we take a look defensively, Ben Dover's all the way up at an 89. Brett Pesci's an 84. Brady Shea's an 85. And Shillington. And we have the other Sebastian Aho on our third line pair. And in goal, Le Pekka Pasta now is up to an 85 overall. So definitely a starting goalie. And we have a very young Michael Harabal, who I believe is a medium elite goaltender. We could actually move this guy in a couple years once he grows a little more. But we have a very young goalie tandem. So we definitely should have a little better of a season than we did last year. We are back and we are good. Tarasenko an A. Ben also gets an A. And Shorzy is the captain, of course. So at the end of season number two, we have already made the playoffs. The Alabama Burger Boys finished first in the Central, going 48, 28, and 6, 102 points. GM Pasta has been cooking. We were the best team in our division and a top five team in the entire NHL and only our second season in existence with basically no no assets, a terrible roster in year number one. All that cap space though, brother, that freed me up. I signed a lot of good players in the offseason. We've already made the playoffs. Shout out the Oilers winning 50 games and, well, kind of the Stanley Cup until Colorado sna snagged it. Jonathan Marcheseau is going to end up leading our team in scoring 81 points. Also at 33 goals. Tara Vinen had 78. DeBrusque, 69. Tyler Bertuzzi, 68. Druin had a pretty good season. Shorzy did have 32 goals yet again, but only 51 points. I mean, he is a sniper, so I want to find a centerman who's a very good playmaker and we can create a dynamite line there bend over 16 goals 38 points kind of low for a 91 overall franchise defender Jersey nails up to an 87 if we take a look at Pekka Pasta 42 18 and 5 six shutouts a 9 14 save percentage and a 286 GAA both of our goalies played very good throughout the regular season I'm actually impressed shout out to Pasta man 21 years old taking on the load pause no diddy taking on the load what am i saying matthew kachuk oh my god kachuk absolutely dominated 62 goals tied for the most with pasternak and he had the most points at 121 Markov had a good season as well as sam reinhardt kaprizov was up there and brad marchand putting up a 100 point season pekka pasta will lead the nhl in wins with 42 and for shutouts he would be up there devin levi would have the most at seven but I mean, six shutouts is right behind the lead in the NHL. And in the first round of the playoffs, we are up against the Winnipeg Jets. And this team that basically has zero playoff experience, I mean, our second season in the NHL, we are going to beat Winnipeg in seven games. But unfortunately, we have Colorado in the second round, who I mean, they have a very good team. They simulate well in this game. The experience is on their side. The good news is we did not get swept. We actually won a game five to three. The bad news is we lost in five games, but that was to be expected. We're very young and we will learn from this. And the Boston Bruins will go on and beat Vegas in five games to capture the Stanley Cup. Kachuk is going to pretty much win all the awards. The Norris will go to Eric Carlson. The Conn Smythe to the Rat, Brad Marchand. Devin Levi will win the Vesna. And the Selkie will end up going to John Gabriel Pajot. So we only have $7 million in cap space. And I mean, I gave out a lot of money last season. And I did give some term to a lot of these players that maybe I shouldn't have. A lot of the deals were like four or five years. But I mean, we could also move them if we have to. At the end of the day, I don't think we got to re-sign anybody on our roster. I'm going to offer Brock Besser a $7 million three-year contract. I don't know if he'll take it. 86 overall, still pretty young at 28. That could be a player that we desperately need, so I'll offer him that contract. So a second guy I wanted to go after was Trevor Zegers. Very young, also a playmaker, so I'm going to give up the exact same deal. The two first-round picks might be a little tough considering we might not be good at that point but it doesn't matter let's go after it trade still rejected okay all right so i did try to make some moves in the offseason none of them really came through that well so we're gonna stick with what we got here shorzy nail is up to a 90 over hour. all right so i tried to make some trades they didn't work out we're gonna stick with what we got here shorzy nail is up to a 90 overall lars eller is gonna be our first line centerman we need a center bad 
Like a real legit first line guy is what I'm going after. Tavo Teravine is up at an 86. Tarasenko's still good. Drew in. Bertuzzi. Marceau on the third line. Yeah, we're really like winger heavy center wise. We don't have really any good centermen. Now defensively, Ben Dover's up to a 93. Brady Shea's an 86. We still got the same guys. Obviously some prospects as well. And Pekka passed a 88 overall. And our backup is up to an 89. Okay, he might be outshining literally the guy who should be our starting goalie in Pekka Pasta. Well, I checked out some deals and I really couldn't get too good of an offer. I mean, Harabo's trade value is not really the highest despite the fact that he is an 89 overall and like 21 years old. But I mean, we can rock with two starting goaltenders for now. So here in our third season, we are going to have a little bit of a fall off. Six in the central, 35, 39, and eight. We started off good, but the back half of the season, we really trailed off and we would end up missing the playoffs. Colorado, best team in our division and for the entire NHL, it was the Vancouver Canucks who damn near won the 60 games. Jonathan Marchessault will lead our team. 36 goals, 71 points. Tyler Bertuzzi had 63. Tara Vina, 59. Shorzy was way down here. Only 28 goals and 53 points as a 92 overall sniper. I don't know why he's not simulating well. Maybe we need a centerman to pass him the puck. Minus 22, minus 15. Yeah, we were horrible defensively. And if we take a look at our goalies, yeah, our goalies were not good this year. Pega Pasta only played 33 games, 13, 16, and 1, 895 save percentage, by far the worst stats of his career. He had a very good start to his career, too, over 9, 10 save percentage seasons. Justin Matthews will end up leading the NHL in goals with 68 and points with 115. Elias Pedersen had a good season, as well as Pasta. Quinn Hughes was up there with 103. Jack Hughes, 102. Miller, 99. And the Buffalo Sabres will go on and win the Stanley Cup, beating the Oilers in six games. Quinn Hughes is going to win the Ted Lindsay Hard. Hart Trophy and the Norris Trophy, while the Art Ross and Maurice Richard will go to Matthews. Now for the Con Smythe, JJ is going to take it home. Thatcher Demko, the Vesna, and the Selkie will go to Tim Stutzla. All right, so at the NHL draft, we are selecting seventh overall. Let's see who is available. We don't have any of these guys really scouted. It's between, actually, all three of them are center slash wingers. So he is from Slovakia, I believe, or that might be the Czech Republic. I'm not even sure. Top six medium potential. Not the greatest pick for a top 10 draft pick, but I'll take it, I guess. So now in the offseason, we have up to 20 mil, actually $19 million in cap space. I do want to re-sign Jonathan Druin, who now is up to an 86 overall, a $6.6 .6 million deal for four years. I guess I will live with that. Josh Doan, who I believe is the son of Shane Doan, he's up to an 85, so I do want to re-sign this guy. I will give him a $3 million deal for three years. All right, so I'm looking to go after a big guy here in Leo Carlson. He's an 86 overall playmaking center for Harabo. We'll get rid of him. Our draft pick from two years ago, I believe, and our draft pick from this year, a first and a second. Let's see if they will accept it. They have rejected, so I might have to throw in another first here. I will throw in two first round picks, see if it changes their mind. It does does not change their mind. Okay. All right. So instead, I'm going to go after Nico Heischer, who's an 87 overall, 88, 27 years old. See if they will accept this deal. They have. So we finally have our first line center that we have been dying for here in Alabama. I am also going to be going after Michael Bunting. We got Poirier, Duda, a second and a third. Will they accept? Trade accepted. Trying to bolster our roster at least a little bit here. So now looking at our team, we finally filled the center position with Nico Heischer. 90 overall with a 94 Shorzy and an 86 Drew in. Our second line, we also have Josh Doan, who's up to an 85. And Connor Geeky is our third line center. Demet Off has also made the team. He's an 82 overall. He'll play in the fourth line. As he grows, he will move up in the lineup. Now defensively, we have Ben, who's an elite defender, one of the best in the world at a 94. Simashev has grown to an 86. And overall, our decor honestly is not bad whatsoever. And finally, in goal, we have our starting goalie in Pekka Pasta, 92 overall. There's no confusion now. He's the go-to guy. Hopefully, he has a very good season. So Alabama is going to rebound very nicely here, finishing first in the Central, 49, 23, and 10, 108 points, as we were one of the best teams in the entire NHL top four behind Edmonton, New York, and Toronto, who won 55 games. Nico Heischer is going to lead our team in scoring with 76 points. Shorzy had a 44 goal season and 75 points, so he's finally producing. I mean, for God's sakes, he's a 94 overall now. Tarasenko had 70 points, also 33 goals. Jonathan Druin had 70 points. March so 52. Tara Vinen, 52. And Pekka passed the 34, 19, 7, 2 shutouts and back to a 9, 10 save percentage, which is what he was at besides last year. 
He really struggled as a backup last year, but Austin Matthews again is going to lead in goals with 63 and points with 124, followed by Dreisaitl who had 105, McDavid also had 105, William Nylander 103, Jack Hughes 101, Kyle Connor had a good season himself, Hecka Pasta would not be up there for wins as Schmidt would lead with 42, and for shutouts, it's going to go to Dustin Wolf, who had eight on the season. And in the first round of the playoffs, we are up against the Colorado Avalanche. And surprisingly, we actually got the job done in six games over the Avs, and now we face the Minnesota Wild in round number two. Unfortunately, we got dominated by Minnesota in six games in the second round, as San Jose actually went on and won the Stanley Cup, beating Toronto in the finals in six games. If we take a look at the playoffs, Nico Heischer was our best player. Only two goals, but four 14 points. Shorzy had 7 in 12 games. Jonathan Druin was good, as well as Tarasenko. And Pekka Pasta had a 9-15 save percentage. So here in the offseason, finally, we do have to re-sign Ben Dover. 24 years old, 94 overall, and he's asking for $10.5 million. I mean, hey, he's one of the best defenders in the NHL. Eight years, I will take that. We also got to re-sign Nico Heischer and Tyler Bertuzzi. I want to get Heischer done first. He's asking for 9.6. I'm honestly okay with that. Oh my god, Bertuzzi asking for 8 $8 million dollars look brother i will give you an eight million dollar deal not 8.4 but 8 mil you're an 88 overall 32 years old so you're pretty valuable to the roster if he rejects that offer i can always up it as we do have like 28 million dollars in cap space all right so we did end up re-signing everybody that i wanted to during the re-sign phase and now we are in free agency with not a lot of cap space with only 1.6 mil available so we really can't go after anybody. I mean, Kale McCarr, holy hell, 16, almost a $17 million deal he's looking for. All right, so now as we head into season number five, we still have the same first line with Shorzy, Heesher, and Tara Vinen. That's a very good first line. Our second line's pretty good as well. Doan is up to an 87. Geeky, we re-signed him. He is up to an 85 now. Demidoff's an 85, so he's probably going to be playing either second or third line minutes. I mean, forward depth is not a problem. We have been very deep team. We've been a very deep team, I should say defensively we are hurting a little bit brady shea i'll throw you on the first line and this craig or caleb jones guy yeah defensively we do need to pick up a few defenders and finally in goal we have pekka pasta who now is a 94 overall goaltender all right so here we are the very next day later i have slept on the decisions that i've made and we can actually go on and finally win a stanley cup we have five more years left in the video here up to five more years left of course if we win a stanley cup i might end up calling it but i mean i believe i built a pretty good roster here in alabama we got a very good forward core our decor is a little shaky we're very tough top heavy there and of course we have one of the best goaltenders if not the best all right so i would just like to say before we go ahead and take a look at our team's record we were like 10 points out of a playoff spot pretty comfortably gonna miss and in the month of march we really turned it up mostly getting w's i have no idea after the trade deadline how we got here in april as well we were very very good we only lost a few games in here and we are up against the vancouver canucks in round number one as we are gonna end up finishing with a record of 42 31 and 9 93 points somehow sneaking into the playoffs i literally cannot believe it minnesota was the best in our division with 46 wins and 100 points let's take a look at the entire nhl toronto is dominating 58 wins and 125 points vancouver is very good toronto is at the top of the nhl with 58 wins followed by vancouver who had 55 edmonton was very good buffalo san jose has rebuilt and are one of the best teams in the league currently finally shorzy has his breakout season 49 goals 80 88 points 25 years old entering the prime of his career right now he's a 94 overall finally living up to potential nico heischer at 74 tara vinen had 70 jonathan drew was pretty good although he was a minus 10 bend over again probably not going to put up that many points but he will affect us on the defensive end 18 goals 48 points i can live with that and if we take a look at our starting goalie 33 27 and 9 two shutouts only a 904 save percentage but that's probably because the first half of the season we were very bad again matthews will dominate 76 goals and 124 points followed by mitch marner who had 106 william nylander had a good season Matt Vey Mishkov scored 61 goals and 100 points. McKinnon was up there. Bedard has been kind of quiet throughout the simulation, although he's only 22 years old. I don't believe Pekka Pasta will be up. Oh my God, Dennis Hildeby, 52 wins. And we would end up comfortably beating the Vancouver Canucks in five games in the first round. Now we're up against San Jose, who has rebuilt. They have a pretty good roster, so they're not to be trifled with. It's probably going to go six or seven. Luckily for us, we would narrowly defeat San Jose in game seven, eight to five, and 
absolute barn burner. And now we have the Colorado Avalanche in the conference finals. Four wins to go to the Stanley Cup finals. Can we do it? Or will Colorado prevail yet again? And finally, the Alabama Burger Boys have made the Stanley Cup finals. We dominated Colorado in five games in the conference finals. And it has only taken us five years to get here. So I'm pretty proud of that fact. But we got to get the job done. We cannot lose to Montreal. So let's see if we can go on and win our very first Stanley Cup in our franchise's history. And the Alabama Burger Boys have got the job done as we swept the Montreal Canadiens in the Stanley Cup finals. How fitting was it for Le Pecca Pasta to beat Montreal in the Stanley Cup Finals for the Burger Boys? At his, it's only taken us five years to get here. Five quick years, and we are Stanley Cup champions. We started out as probably the worst team in NHL history. I mean, we didn't have that bad of a season, but our players on our roster were not good. Nico Heischer is going to win the Conn Smythe Trophy. Nine goals, 24 points. He is our number one centerman. We picked him up. And since then, since we filled out that center role, we really have been a different team. And I thought we were going to miss the playoffs this season. Somehow we ended up sneaking in and we were really built for the playoffs, it seems. As there it is, the Stanley Cup to my, not to my hometown team in Nebraska, but to Alabama. As here comes Captain Shorzy coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in franchise history as the Alabama Burger Boys have done it. They have clawed their way from the worst team in NHL history to now Stanley Cup champions. And I mean, we're going to go at least a couple more years here. I want to try to go back to back and maybe even three-peat. As of course, Shorzy will hand it to Pekka Pasta. They put their rivalry to the side for a minute as Le Pekka Pasta is a Stanley Cup champion as well. It didn't show Bend over on the list of players I could choose. Hopefully, I'm able to give the Stanley Cup to him here in the celebration. If not, I guess it's okay. Where is Bend over? He's the third or actually he's the first best player on the team overall wise i guess technically i can give it back to nico he who won actually he didn't pick it up what am i saying he won the cons my there's ben i guess he's just gonna be a cheerleader watching nico he skate around the rink with the stanley cub as the burger boys have done it baby and finally i guess i will give it to uh jonathan druin who has been here for a few seasons he can skate around with the cup for a minute before we take our team picture. And there it is. The Burger Boys are Stanley Cup champions. Now it's time to do a little retool in the offseason. Load up for next year and try to go back to back with the best team in the NHL. Now, to be honest, I have no idea how Shorzy did not win the Conn Smythe. 17 goals and 25 points in 21 games. More goals than he sure and also more points. He was definitely more valuable to our roster. Although he sure did have a good playoff run. Drew in actually had 21 points. He was point per game. Ben Dover had 16. Connor Geeky was pretty good. And for Pekka Pasta, 16, 4, and 1, a 927 save percentage. That is what I'm talking about. Austin Matthews is pretty much going to win all the awards. The Norris will go to Quinn Hughes. The Con Smythe, obviously, to He sure. Hildeby will win the Vesna. And the Selkie will go to also Nico He sure of the Alabama Burger Boys. So we have our Selkie level centerman. All right, so here in the offseason, we have $28 million in cap space. We do need to re-sign Demidoff and Connor Geeky. Those two players I definitely want back. They're still very young also. Also, Vladimir Tarasenko. I don't know if I'll re-sign him depending on how much he's asking for. Michael Bunting will probably be let go. Jason Zucker can be let go as well. For goalies, I do need to re-sign Pekka Pasta. 93 overall, 24-year-old. What is he asking for here? He's only asking for a one-year deal at $7.5 million. I think I'm going to jack it up for four years at 9.2. Actually, I'll go three years at 8.3. I'm very comfortable giving him that contract, especially considering he is our starting goalie and one of the best in the entire world. Tarasenko has re-signed, as well as Pekka Pasta. Michael Bunting is back. Ivan Demidov has re-signed. Connor Geeky, easy decision. Perfect. So I pretty much got everybody back that I wanted to here in the re-sign phase. Now I'm going to go after Mo Sider. He's 27 years old, very young. I'm going to sign him to, you know what? I'll give you a 9.4 million, actually $9.2 million deal. We can lock up another great defenseman as our decor is not the greatest. And Mo Sider decided to swerve us and go to the Calgary Flames. Are you kidding me right now? Instead, I'm going to go after Thomas Shabbat. 
bot, I will give him a $7.9 million deal for three more years. He's 31 years old, so he's not the oldest. And I'm going to go after a depth guy here, probably defender. I'll go after, I believe his name is Cal Foot. I'll give him a $3.7 million deal. The term's pretty long, but I mean, I can always move this guy if I don't like his contract. And thankfully, Shabbat has signed with the Burger Boys here in NHL 24. All right, so after winning the Stanley Cup, this is what our roster looks like. Shorzy Nail is up to a 96 overall. Demidoff's an 86, so he's our second line center. We got Geeky on the third line. We could throw him up on the second line if we want, but I think I will leave him as our third line center. DeBrusque, Teravainen's good. Bot is up to an 83. I'm going to move him up to the third line. Hopefully, he can grow a little bit more. Tarasenko is a fourth line scoring forward. Now defensively, now defensively, we have Bendover who's up to a 95. Simashev's an 89, so he's an elite level defender. Thomas Shabbat can play in the second line alongside Brady Shea. And our third line D pair is going to have a minus one, which I don't like, but I can live with it. Only one under 80 overall defender, which is a big upgrade off of last season. And Pekka Pasta now is a 93 overall, fresh off of a Stanley Cup. So I am definitely looking to go back to back here, boys. We definitely have the rock to do so as well if anything we have improved off of last season hopefully we have a better regular season because the first half of last year we were not very good all right so i know i might sound crazy here but thomas shabbat has not really worked out in alabama so i'm gonna go him a first in two seconds for noah dobson who is younger is making more money but he's got term on his contract so i'm not gonna have to re-sign him and the trade has been accepted by the New York Islanders. I've pretty much written off this season as we're most likely not going to make the playoffs. So I'm building to next year, hopefully to rebound. We're 27, 26, and 7. Unless we go on a tear here in the final month of the season, I don't see us making the playoffs. We're in the exact, almost the exact same position as we were last season. And yet again, somehow, someway, the Alabama Burger Boys have done it. They have snuck into the playoffs. 41, 32, and 9. 91 points. We literally had to win our final game of the regular season to get in, and luckily we did so. As Minnesota was the best in the Central Division for the entire NHL, Toronto again is dominating. 58 wins. President's Trophy for back-to-back -back seasons. Jorzy's going to have another great season. 47 goals, 87 points. Tyler Bertuzzi had 30 goals and 75 points. Druen had a good season. Bend over, had a career-high 15 goals and 69 points. Nice. Ishir was pretty good. Demidoff had an okay season. Connor Geeky was also very good. Pekka Pasta went 29, 27, and 8, and 8, 9, 8 save percentage, so he didn't have his greatest season, didn't even have a single shutout, but at least our offense did cover for Pekka Pasta having a down season to his standards, as William Nylander is going to lead everybody in scoring with 109 points, followed by McDavid's 106, Matthews had 105, and Mitch Marner 100, now for the goal side, Matthews will lead with 63 on the season, and in the first round of the playoffs, we are up against the Vancouver Canucks, who do have a good roster, hopefully this can be the season that we go back to back winning our second straight stanley cup now unfortunately we would end up losing in the very first round to vancouver but they would go on and win the stanley cup beating toronto in game seven that is a hilarious the maple leafs again losing another game seven the most important one of their franchise honestly william nylander is going to win the ted lindsey art ross and hart trophy matthews the maurice richard quinn hughes the norris the con smith will go to atu ratu Logan Thompson, the Vesna, and the Selkie to Elias Lindholm. So I think what we'll do here is we will go one more season to see if we can try to win our second Stanley Cup in our franchise's history. If we fail, I'll probably just end the video there. But we're going to load up one final season here, boys. I'm going to re-sign everybody that I need to here in the offseason. All right, so first off, I'm going to go after this Cates guy. Give up a fourth, a third, a second, and a third. Let's see if Buffalo will do it. They have done it. All right, so I'm going after Joe Valeno. I'm actually going to try to see if I can save one of my first-round picks first here. See if that will go through. But in a second for Joe Valeno, trade has been accepted. Perfect. Joe Valeno is a higher overall than Daniel Bud. I think his first name's Daniel, but regardless. All right, so here is our roster in the final season of the video. I am going to put Demidoff on the first first line with Shorzy and Druin because they got a plus five. Second line will be DeBrosk, Heischer, and Doan. Valeno, I picked him up. Connor Geeky and Bertuzzi on that third line. And our fourth line is not very good, but luckily they're not going to play a lot of minutes. You know, defensively, Vendover's the 95. Noah Dobson is a
is a 90, Simashev is an 89, Cal Foot is only an 81, but we picked up this Noah Cates guy, who I mean, he does have a minus three on with Vesa Salani on the third D pair. So that's not going to be great. And in goal, we have Pekka Pasta, who's only a 92 overall. He was a 94 at one point. He has calmed down a little bit, come back down to earth. He is our starting goalie. I believe in him as this is our final season to win a Stanley Cup, the second of the video and the second in three years. Can we do it? Now, luckily at the end of the season, we are going to make the playoffs going 46, 30 and 6, 98 points. Third in the central for the entire NHL. Florida is going to win the president's trophy. Nico Heischer will lead our team in scoring 91 points, also 35 goals. Shorzy had a 40 goal season and 82 points. Drew in has been producing very well on this team for a very long time. He's been hella consistent. John Doan or Josh Doan, I should say, had 68. DeBrusque, 67. Ben Dover had 20 goals and 61 points. And for Pekka Pasta, 37, 27, and 6. Two shutouts and back up to a 915 save percentage. Matthew Kachuk is going to end up leading the NHL in scoring. Actually, him and Sam Reinhardt are going to tie at 114 apiece. And for goals, it will go to none other than Austin Matthews, who had 66. And in our final playoff run of the video, unfortunately for us, we got to go up against the Colorado Avalanche in round number one. They are a very tough matchup. So in the first round, we pretty much dominated Colorado. In the second round, we beat Minnesota in game seven. And now we face Calgary in the conference finals and we have made the stanley cup finals for the second time in three seasons up against the philadelphia flyers trying to go for our second in our franchise's history and trying to go out on a high note winning another stanley cup in our final season of the video and the alabama burger boys have done it their second stanley cup in three seasons sweeping the philadelphia flyers in the stanley cup finals so that means we went undefeated in the finals when we made it eight and oh baby absolutely lovely I rebuilt this team from basically nothing. I mean, we did have three cornerstone pieces of our franchise with a winger, a defender, and a goalie. So that 100% speed up the process and helped us out a ton. As Tyler Bertuzzi is going to win the con Smythe. 12 goals, 21 points. Not Shorzy. I, I swear to God, if Shorzy led our team in goals and points again and does not win the con Smythe, I'm going to be mad. But I mean, if we do remove those three pieces, maybe we don't win any Stanley Cups, but I thought it would be fun to add in the boys like Pekka Pasta, Bendover, and Shorzy. They weren't a high overall to start with. They definitely grew into that, and there it is, the Stanley Cup yet again being raised in Alabama as Shorzy's coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the second time in his career as the Burger Boys have done it. They are two-time Stanley Cup champions. Two Stanley Cups in three years is a very, very good feat as we are able to to see not only Shorzy but Pekka Pass to raise the Stanley Cup. For some reason, Ben Dover does not show up on the list of players to choose from. I have a feeling it has to do with that he's an alternate captain. I've noticed that was a trend in some of my videos. I've done a lot of franchise experiments, and he's literally, he doesn't pop up. So instead, I'm going to give it to, honest, honestly, I'll give it to Jonathan Druin. He's been very good on our team, consistent for year in and year out, putting up like 70 plus points every season. So congratulations to you, brother. Two Stanley Cups for Druin is very nice. Now for the playoffs, Jonathan Druin was actually our leading scorer with 24 points, followed by Joe Valeno, who, which was a major pickup. I mean, eight goals and 22 points. I'm very glad he's an 88 overall. I am super glad that I picked him up in the offseason. Nico, he sure had a good playoff run. Bertuzzi was good. Shorzy, only seven goals and 17 points. He didn't even play that great, and we still won the Stanley Cup. If we take a look at Pekka Pass, the 16 and six, three shutouts and a 929 save percentage. This dude has been very consistent in Alabama he's been good every year besides maybe two years in the regular season and in the playoffs he's rocking a 929 or 919 save percentage and two years ago he had a 927 and now a 929 in the two Stanley Cup winning seasons and there it is the Burger Boys have two Stanley Cups in three years we literally could have gone for a three-peat if we didn't lose to the eventual winning Vancouver Canucks Sam Reinhardt's gonna take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy the Art Ross to Matthew Kachuk the Maurice Richard to Matthews Evan Bouchard is gonna win the Norris Tyler, Tyler Bertuzzi will win the Conn Smythe Linus Allmark the Vesna and the Selkie will go to Vinny Trocek and that is gonna do it for this video boys if you enjoyed it make sure you leave some support on it also turn on notifications so you get notified when i upload or go live and there you have it we have rebuilt the worst team of all time in nhl 24 into a stanley cup champion two stanley cups in three years is definitely a plus let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a part two of this i could definitely go like another five years with this roster see how many cups we can win if not that'll be all for me i would like to say thank you all for watching and until next time don't be silly Wrap your willy.